Number 23. In this figure, a constant force Fa of magnitude 82 newtons is applied to a 3 kg shoe box at an angle of 53 degrees, causing the box to move up a frictionless ramp at constant speed. How much work is done on the box by Fa when the box has moved through vertical distance h of 0.15 meters? Okay, there are two different ways to solve this problem. The easiest one is using energy conservation. However, energy conservation and potential energy we are going to learn only on chapter 8 and this is chapter 7, so we have to use some work uh, uh, work and forces here. We, we cannot use conservation of energy or potential energy. So let's see which forces do we have here uh, acting on our shoebox. So we have Fa, of course. We have the gravitational force over here. And we also have the normal force over there. Okay. And we know that the movement it's let's see it's upwards right at constant speed so let's use the work and kinetic energy theorem so the work done is equal to the change in the kinetic energy so we know that the normal force doesn't causes any work because it is perpendicular to the movement and remember that the work is equal to the dot product between the force and the direction of the movement and the movement itself so this would be zero for the normal force beca because they make 90 degrees and this dot product would be zero so but if you want you can write like this so the work done by fa plus the work done by the gravitational forces plus the work done from the normal forces is equal to the change in the kinetic energy. And we know that this is zero, right? Also, the change in the kinetic energy is also zero. So, because the, 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 the speed is constant, right? So, this is zero as well. So, the work done uh, by the force Fa, that's what we want is equal to the negative of the work done by the gravitational forces. Okay, so that's what we have to notice in order to solve this problem using this work and kinetic energy theorem. So let's see, if the blocks going up, so the blocks going up, let's say, let's see, it is going up a distance of 0 0.150 meters. So now we can just think it like a box going up. So if this box goes up H, we'll have the gravitational force over here. And the work done by the gravitational force would be just minus Fg times H. Why the negative sign over here? Because the movement is upwards and the gravitational force is downwards, so the dot product will gives us this negative sign over here. So this would be equal to minus m times g times h. So if we replace this equation over there, we can find that the work done by Fa is just equal to mgh. So this is equal to, let's see, Three times nine point eight times zero point fifteen, and this will give us four point forty one joules. Remember that this is easier if you solve this using uh, potential energy, but only on chapter eight.